The biggest car shows in the world are not going to happen this year. Nick Miles is live in Atlanta for us this morning with the details on the world's first virtual auto show. Nick, good morning. How does this work? Uh, good morning to you. Yeah, I've actually created my own little uh, diorama here of an auto show. Now, this is actually a place called Peachtree Corners. We're in a city just outside of Atlanta. This is actually a smart city, the world's first municipal smart city that has autonomous vehicles, which is kind of cool. Uh, we came because I wanted to check some of those vehicles out. So uh, 5G, it has, it's powered by Atlanta, uh, by Georgia Power. It's kind of the latest thing in cars talking to people, talking to cars cars. Uh, so autonomy, of course, is the secret of what's going to happen to cars in the future. Uh, if you have checked out the new F-150 from Ford, we have just actually heard, by the way, this is the control center. This is the hub. This is where everything's controlled, all the screens and everything. The new F-150 is actually going to have some autonomous features we just learned. Um, apart from a really nice interior, it's going to have a, a, an area to sleep in the back and you can power all your power tools. It'll also be able to drive hundreds of thousands of miles on uh, without you touching the steering wheel or touching the pedals because it's going to have the level two autonomy in it but it's not the only smart car that's coming to the market there is a whole bunch of them coming in the future with no auto shows we're showing off the cars you would have seen at new york and detroit this is the new lexus is maybe this would be in raul's driveway in the future uh, this has been around 20 years i was kind of surprised at that with the is i thought it was much newer car than that it has an all new exterior. I love those boomerang lights at the back, by the way. It's going to come in a new F Sport trim at launch. They've gone with a red interior. This is like the hottest thing right now in performance cars. Five new colors plus a big a big 10.3 inch screen on the inside and they've moved the screen closer to the driver as well which i think is really cool uh we know you're a nissan fan raul check this out the new rogue is here finally ah. uh, looks like a great nissan as well i like the back end of this by the way uh the first of five new nissans which are coming this year uh incredible amount of luxury it's going to have their 360 degree safety shield three screens uh 10 up 10 head 10.8 inch heads up display a 12 12.3 inch dash display and a really cool infotainment uh, screen as well. Remember the Toyota Venza? Mm, she's back. This is the bad new Venza and the Venza is coming to uh, a dealership near you this summer. And finally, I want to show you this roll. Uh, you know, we have a problem in San Diego with the scooters being left all over the sidewalk. Well, they actually have the GoX scooter, which is kind of cool now. This will be autonomous. You can actually send the scooter used it no longer will it be lying on the sidewalk and you'll also find that if you need a scooter you can use your cell phone hit the button and you'll summon it it actually wow. has stabilizers on the back which was just for me wow uh, little stabilizer wheels you see because i'm, I'm not good. yeah but so no longer the scooters are lying on the sidewalk so tortoise is uh, the guys powering the software in this How cool is and that? the new scooters uh, they're testing here at uh, peachtree corners yeah very yeah, cool I mean, look at that thing going by itself Ooh. All right, Nick Miles, very cool stuff. Thank you as always, my friend. Appreciate it.